All right, welcome to the weekly gaming quick save show recorded live at 3 p.m. Pacific time every Friday right here on Twitch. Now this week, because of the holiday, it's going to be a little shorter show, but still going to talk about the Star Wars Episode 3 and Bloodborne, the DLC. I got a little bit into that, but first let's take a look at some of the top stories of the week, and there's really only one that I want to talk about. So, it's weird. It's very strange. I love it. Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Now, for those who are unfamiliar, this is a screenshot of the game. Seems just like these ladies are enjoying a nice break from the fighting game that they're from to just hang out on the beach, right? Just seems really nice and wholesome. Let's see another screenshot here. Mmm. Mmm, yes. Yes, that is quite different than the first one. A little weird. Now, Koei Tecmo has made it pretty clear that they are not going to be bringing this next entry of the story, long-running, realistic, beach volleyball game to the West. That's here. We are on the West. They, in a statement they posted on the Dead or Alive Facebook page, basically said that because of all the issues they had with Dead or Alive 5, which came out earlier this year, about how they represented women in the games, and yeah, yeah, they didn't even want to deal with, uh, with this right here, with this game, because it is obviously a little more, a uh, little more subjectively funky. Now, what, what's even, and I'll take that at face value because I guarantee you there would be a lot of hullabaloo going on. And it's a fly in my house, and <laughs> this led to arguably the most well-known uh, import game retailer, Play Asia, making an interesting tweet about the matter. Which I quite like. Let's uh, pull that out here. Dead or Alive Extreme 3 will not be coming to the U.S. because of social justice warrior nonsense. However, we have the English Asia version available here. Pre-order it, basically. This is freaking hilarious. I love this. You got chutzpah, Play Asia. It's so funny to me. You, you don't even need to say any of this. You just come right out and say it. Um, and even more interesting are perhaps the people coming out and being like, well, we should black, you know, uh, blacklist, blacklist block this site, whatever, ban it. I'm forgetting the word now that I'm actually like, but yeah, you know, I'm not shopping here anymore, whatever, whatever. But this is such a niche thing that you probably weren't going there anyway if you weren't already there. And it does seem to be working out pretty well for them, seeing as how they had, they had about 9,000 Twitter followers when this started, and now they have 24,000, which is almost three times as many, and that's, I think they know their audience. Is I guess Boops is the audience. Um, even better, because this is so funny to me. They have a ton of these tweets on their Twitter account just showing off how little they give a shit. <laughs> as the Twitter, as their tweets, uh, their follower count just gets higher and higher and higher. Players don't care. Seems to be working out very, very well for them. Uh, but I, I do, I do think it's a little funny. You're a business, play Asia. You should kind of just stay out of it. Uh, you know, you're selling games. Just don't even get involved in politics. I, I probably would have tweeted, "Hey, it's not coming to the West, but you can pre-order the game here. It's in English." Hashtag boobs. Right? That's that's simple, easy. Don't stick your hand in the hornet's nest unless you want to get horneted, or you know, you're weird. And your poo, fucking poo bear. And also, I don't really think social justice warriors are really to blame for this, uh, even though Koei Tecmo really is trying to avoid any backlash at all by not even attempting to bring this out uh, over here. And also, another aside, the term social justice warrior is it's really stupid. Um, social justice should be something that's like, worth striving for, it's diversity, yada yada yada, um, and it's turned into a joke, and by both sides, really, so that's great, thank you, everyone in the world, but let's, let's look at, at the, you know, let's look at the game, let's look at the real meat of the issue here, <sighs> is there anything wrong with this game, now sure, it is for a niche, whole oh, boobs audience, but that doesn't mean the game shouldn't exist, and certainly not. Um, does this game objectify women? Uh, no, 
maybe, but I mean, the whole game is you're on a beach and you're playing volleyball and there's little mini games on the pool and they fall in water and you dress them up in silly outfits. I don't, I think you could feed them strawberries. I'm not really sure. It sounds kind of like a relaxing weekend in a beach house, really. That's not that offensive. Um, but I can also see the side that this game is basically softcore porn. Um, but to my knowledge, there is no actual sex or nudity in it. It's just alluded to as by the strawberries and bananas that probably appear. Let's get that off. Now, if this game is so offensive, then nude games must, nude beaches, sorry, not nude game, nude beaches must be equally, if not more so offensive. And a traditional beach, with just normal people on it, would be a horrible women objectifying hell pit. But that doesn't make any sense, does it? Those places are fine. You can go to any pool or beach in the world, pretty much, and you're going to find women who are doing things that the women in these games are doing, and somehow that's okay, but this isn't okay. But in the real world, okay, not okay. Now, I don't I really get it, but I will not argue that this game is constantly shoving boobs and butts in your face. They're just all up in your face, and you're just like, ugh, boobs and butts, get out of my face. Is there anything wrong with that? Really? Not really sure. And uh, I'm really confused now because it's like a circular argument. What are we even talking about? This is a dumb game where women in swimsuits jump around on a beach. This is the hill you want to die on? What the f Who cares? Just ugh. play Asia. Keep doing what you're doing. I will say again, it is pretty funny. I'm enjoying it. I don't know if everyone else is enjoying it. But I'm enjoying it. And in completely unrelated news, there's going to be a new Hey Arnold movie. I love Hey Arnold. He's wholesome, not offensive. But is this going to be any good? And no. There is no way in hell, football head. No way. I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry. And with that, let's get right into the topics of the week.